Um, and then you all, you, you all know the way it works. You've all experienced this. Um, let's say you've got a senior pastor. He sins against you in some way. How do you feel? Hurt, betrayed. Hurt, betrayed. And you have a sense of shame. And you, it's only natural then that you get angry. There's nothing that makes me more angry than this. And in recent times, I've experienced a lot of this attack by fellow pastors, even leaders in the church. It makes me angry. And it's a funny thing. If somebody does something good to me, I say, oh, that's good. I say, thank you, maybe. And then I move on. But if somebody does something bad to me, remember I remember it forever. I remember every hurt, particularly by personal authority, that goes back over 64 years. Okay, what happens then when you, so you dwell on it, you focus on it. And if you notice the way you, keep, you sort of replay the offence, and you replay the offence, why do we keep on replaying the offence? Like a, a sort of a, a TV loop. Because we like being angry against, we like to hold that sin against them. Yes, why? Well, eventually we'll feel justified in retribution against them. Or okay. Or yes, it keeps stoking the anger and it makes us feel, it gives yeah. us the spiritual high ground. We are right and they are wrong. Yeah. wrong. Therefore, we are justified in condemning them. Condemning them. Condemning them. Yes. You see, Satan doesn't just attack us by accusing us of sin and condemning us of sin. But when others sin against us, what does he do? He puts the replay button on again and again and again and again. And he gets us not just to accuse the others. Very often it's not out there, although we quite often gossip about them. And pick it to our mates. You know, we, we tell them you know, how terrible the things are. Uh, but we don't just accuse them, but we condemn them. And we reject them. Uh, uh, we reject them and we find good reasons to reject them and we feel justified in rejecting them and in no longer accepting them as a brother in Christ above all, uh, rejecting their authority yeah. and it's interesting how I think Lutherans particularly then find theological reasons to reject a person but the real reason is not theological but is personal so we shift the critique from the personal offence to the theo theology. And so we don't just reject them, but if we can get to theological mode, then they're false teaching, they're heretic, therefore we not only reject them, but what do we do in our minds? Excommunicate. We excommunicate them, we damn them. Yeah. You know, up here, oh, we would never, of course I'd never say that. Uh, I'm far too good a theologian, a pastor, to do that. Uh, but if I can say that mentoring thing, it's very important then that we don't bottle it up, that we put it out in front, we bring it into the light, and you do it by telling somebody else about it. And in a way that's unvarnished, to let it all spill out, the, lang uh, the anger, the bitterness, the resentment, the desire for revenge, all the dirty stuff. Now it's up to the mentor, the confessor then, to deal with it appropriately. Uh, and uh, that's partly the art of spiritual care, the care of souls. That's the, um, uh, the art of using the office of the keys to deal with the real problem rather than the manifestations of it. Uh, yes, Ephesians 4, 26 to 27. Be angry and do not sin. Do not let the sun go down on your anger and give no opportunity to the devil. Um, opportunity, the word there in Greek is a, um, a place or a foothold to the devil. Um, so anger that's carried over from one day to the next day opens the door to Satan and gives him a place in your conscience, in your soul. And what's interesting here is that Paul says that there's nothing wrong with being anger, angry. The problem is not anger, but what you do with your anger, what your anger leads to. And the secret then of the dealing with the backdoor attack is 
to debrief if you, every day, if you like, to not let the sun go down on your wrath. What does that mean? It means, just as we advise to say, uh, to deal with each sin day by day, so that we confess our sins at the end of the day, so that we don't carry a guilty conscience from one day into the night into the next day. So the way of dealing with this backdoor attack is to deal with anger day by day, 